Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another top 5 video. In tonight's video, I'm going to be covering my top 5 favourite pieces from Palace's Winter 2021 collection. Well, there we go guys, our question's been answered. Are we getting a week 9 of the Winter 2021 collection? No we're not. Because <laughs> straight away, as soon as uh, week 8 had come out and we got the Kappa collab, the next day, I think it was on Saturday, might have been the Sunday, we got Palace posting a teaser of their upcoming Abrex collaboration for their Ultimo 2021 collection. <laughs> so, uh, winter definitely over now, which means I need to talk about my top five favorite pieces from the season. I didn't pick up anything from the season. I haven't actually picked up anything from uh, any of the seasons in the 2021 year. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that I didn't like any of the pieces enough to pick them up. It's just that my priorities have been elsewhere. I've been after a lot of undercover as of late, uh, from past seasons that I loved. Uh, I've been after a lot of capital, but I mean, I'm less inclined to pick up capital over undercover because with capital, I have to proxy it with undercover. It's a bit of a hit or miss. Some pieces I need to proxy, some I can actually just buy straight from the stores. So yeah, I'm picking up a lot less, uh, but what I am picking up is some, I'm going to say quite expensive pieces. <laughs> so yeah, it does cut into my budget, even though I am picking up less, but I definitely should pick up some palace sometime soon. Maybe if there's something in this Ultimo 2021 season, I might pick it up just to say that I've picked up something this year. But I did compile a list of five pieces that I really liked from the Winter 2021 collection. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing that. Now, it was actually kind of hard to rearrange the pieces into my least favorite to most favorite, but I think I've got it pretty comfortably in the list that I'd be happy with. So yeah. Let's get into it guys, uh, let's check out what my 5th favourite piece was that released in the winter 2021 season. Uh, piece number 5 guys, uh, <laughs> piece number 5 is anime inspired, which is giving away the piece because there were no other pieces in the winter 2021 season that I know of that were anime inspired as well, so <laughs> it's only going to be one piece. Uh, it was a shirt. What we have at item number five is the Mangas t-shirt. Uh, this piece featured a redo of, don't quote me on this, I think it is Akira Volume 6 of the manga. Um, don't know, don't own the manga. I just remember because it always appears on my newsfeed because CDG did a redo of it years ago and a lot of people like Hidden MY and stuff post that stuff all the, t uh, all the time. So I see it prop up every now and then. I think it's volume six, might be volume five. Either way, Palace redid it for a tee that came in, I think, three colors, black, white, navy. Actually, no, it came in a couple others because I think it came in a purple as well. I was just feeling the black, white, and navy a little bit more than the other colors that came in. Uh, it features a Palace skater, don't know who it is, don't know his name, uh, featuring a Palace P cap as well. So, and obviously the Akira font style, redoing the Palace name in the background as well. I think it's just a nice little solid tee. It pokes fun at popular culture, anime, and skating culture as well by featuring the skater iconic cap that Palace releases, the P cap, and one of their skaters as well. I don't know, it's a little bit of fun. I'm really surprised it didn't sell out. This piece is in stock in most sizes, in most colors. It went under the radar. So, I mean, maybe if it goes on sale, although Palace isn't really doing online sales now for the end of the season, they still do the in-store ones now that COVID's kind of calmed down. So I might just have to pick it up at the retail, but I'm a little bit worried about Palace tees because I don't own any Palace tees and I feel like it's going to be quite fitted on me at an extra large. So I'd have to look out for a 2XL and I don't think they did 2XLs in these tees. But uh, yeah, I, I think it was just an awesome piece, a fun graphic tee for this season. And I enjoyed it in a couple colors, so I had to put it as uh, number five. Now, piece number four, guys, we have a jacket. One that I was... I think I mentioned I was a fan of it when we covered it in the lookbook, but I became more of a fan of it as I saw it more during the season. There are slight design changes that I would personally change on each of the three colors that it came out in. 
But all in all, I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out in the season, and I would comfortably say I'd pick it up in probably two of the colors. Uh, the piece that I'm going to put at number four is the Sherpa Flight Jacket. Now, this featured a uh, overall Sherpa exterior. It being broken up though by little bits of material throughout all over the piece here. It came in three colors. It came in a natural, a pink, and a black. Now, unfortunately, on the natural and pink color, the triferg that's on the left arm is this like brooding, like uh, contrasting colored patch. The design changes that I was talking about is that I would personally change the patch to a uh, leather patch with the same logo embossed into it and the color of the leather would be the same color as the material that's breaking up the Sherpa all over the jacket. That's just how I would approach it from a design aspect because I think it would look a little bit nicer. I just think the contrasting patch on the left arm, it's a little bit off-putting with it being so dark on a lot of those uh, natural and lighter colors. It looks fine, obviously, on the black version of the jacket. I would have honestly, even on the black version of the jacket, still gone with my approach and just done a leather black patch on it and embossed the Trifurg logo into that. But I'm not a designer. I don't run a brand, so what do I know? <laughs> all in all though, the black patch or the contrasting patch, depending on the color on the uh, left arm there, it doesn't turn me off the piece completely. But that would just be a personal design choice that I would make uh, if I was able to design said piece. But I still think it's a dope piece. I think the favorite color of mine would be the natural color, I think is what they called it. Uh, and then probably the black. I know the black is a little bit basic, but I had to be real with myself. The pink color is totally fine. I think that's a cool color as well. I just don't think I would wear the pink as much with the olive green uh, materials breaking up the Sherpa. It would just be my least worn. So I think that's why I had to put it as my least favorite color out of the three, but it released in solid colors. I would love to make those design changes and have like my own personalized one, but it was a sweet piece all around, very unique. Haven't seen something like this being done before. And it was definitely a highlight of the winter 2021 season. So that is why I am putting it at number four. Now for number three, we have a piece that got pushed back until the second last week of the season. It was a piece that I was really keen on, but it didn't seem like you guys were too keen on it in the comment section below. And I actually haven't seen a lot of like positive reviews of this piece uh, online in comment sections and stuff like that. It kind of just seems like a piece everyone's skipping over, which is fine. I don't know. Maybe I just found my own diamond in the rough and everyone else is kind of just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for me, it's going to go to the drop shoulder denim applique uh, hoodie. Uh, this hoodie is just a standard palace hoodie with uh, palaces logo done in a collegiate American style in that arcing font on the chest. Instead of your traditional embroidery or print or, uh, you know, pieces of fabric embroidered onto it, what we have is, uh, I think, personally, a unique take that I've never seen being done before, which is uh, very distressed denim being embroidered onto the piece to form that uh, arcing collegiate logo. I thought it was a really unique take. I've never seen that being done before. I've seen it being done with, you know, felt... Uh, just embroidery straight onto the hoodie or prints but i've never seen denim being used to make that and the fact that they did it in distressed uh, denim as well was quite interesting uh, i featured in quite a few colors and i liked a lot of them i think my favorite would have to go to the navy and then maybe the gray but all in all really solid colors it came in a 2xl and it's still available in all sizes on the palace web store because as i said not many people were feeling it this is one that's got me kind of thinking, damn, I wouldn't mind picking it up. But because, you know, money's so tight, when I do have money to spend on clothing, I'm like, this wouldn't be my first piece to pick up because there's so many other like undercover and capital pieces that I could pick up like now that I don't know if they're going to be there later. While this piece is so safe, I feel like it's still going to be there when I, if I come back later. <laughs> so that's why I haven't picked it up. That's purely the reason. I just, you know, I've, I've left it on the, it's safe. Nobody's going to pick that up pile. While the pieces that I am picking up are not in that pile. But maybe I need to switch it up and just pick this up for once. But yeah, I think it's a super sweet piece. I love a lot of the colors it comes in. And I had to put it at number three. Okay, now for piece number two... <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a very different nickname for what it actually was called when it dropped. <laughs> but I thought my name was very valid for it. This piece is called the Current Crew. 
I thought it was more like the Snickers crew because it looks exactly like the chocolate bar. <laughs> like the logo, the red trim around the white and then around the blue logo, the font looks exactly the same. You're telling me that they didn't use that as inspiration. I don't know, man. I feel like it is. Like it looks one to one. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen the bar in a long time. But it looks exactly like it. I actually thought it was really clean. I thought it was a really cool palace crew neck. Uh, it came in a lot of colors, which are really nice. I really liked it in the brown and the navy. The brown made it look even more like chocolate and the black made it look like the bar itself as well. It was clean though. The logo was clean. I think it was embroidered as well onto the piece. I feel like that's something Palace would do. They wouldn't skip out and do a print on it. So I feel like they definitely went with embroidery there. It was clean. It was clean. I liked it. I think it's still available in an extra large in the black. I think it sold out in a couple of colors from memory. So might have to suss it out. I, I would I actually wear it though. That's the problem. That's the problem. Would I wear it a lot? I don't know. It is very easy to wear. It's versatile. I did like a lot of the colors. I have to look into it but i thought it was a really solid piece and i'm i had no issues with it I, I couldn't put any faults on it i had to put it at number two okay so you guys know with me puffer jackets are a hard sell any of those hiking jacket weather jackets down jackets they're just not for me i, I personally come from a very big uh hiking i guess city a lot of people really love going hiking up the mountain there on the Saturdays and stuff like that on the big mountain near town. And a lot of people around town, when it's cold, they don't wear a winter outfit. They wear a summer outfit and put a puffer jacket over the top of it. So you see puffer jackets literally every third person. So for me, they don't excite me because I'm like, bro, I see them everywhere. Uh, even in summer on a cold summer day, because they do exist one every X amount of summer days, they are very rare. People will be just wearing puffer jackets. They'll just wear a summer fit and bring the puffer along. Like it, it, it's a hard sell for me because of how much I see it. It bores me. So you have to do something pretty unique for me to be on board. Yeah, it has to be a crazy print, has to be a crazy design. This one featured in the lookbook and I really liked it. It was really nice. And I really liked it in all three colors, which was crazy for me to say about a puffer jacket, that I liked it in all the colors that came in. What we have is the collared puffer. I initially didn't think it was a puffer jacket. I took it more as a work jacket just because it was collared and the silhouette kind of looked like it. But according to Palace, it is a puffer jacket. It features this diamond puffer material, this retro looking Palace embroidered logo on the left breast and the Palace logo on the back as well. I really like its shape, its colors it comes in. It's just hitting all the spots. I would say I, I, like, I would wear this and that's one of the few times you would catch me saying that about a puffer jacket. <laughs> so I had to give them props for it. It's really solid. The black hits, the green hits, but the best color has to go to that ivory or bone or stone or whatever the hell you want to call it. It looks sick. I love that color. And the lining, unfortunately, is just black colored, but it's not a huge complaint for me because I'm not going to be like, hey, look at the lining of this jacket. Would have been nice to have it the same color as the exterior, but I ain't complaining that much. It is just a solid piece. I can't really fault it. The fact that it got me interested in a puffer jacket, which very rarely happens, I had to give it so many props for that because it just does not happen. This is a super solid piece. It's sold out in the stone color, I think. The black color in most of the sizes, but I think the green is still available. Wouldn't be my first choice, but I thought it was a really sweet piece. It was definitely a big highlight of the winter 2021 season and I had to put it at number one because it just, you know, it changed my view on puffers. I liked every color of it and it was just a sweet piece all around. So I think it was very deserving of number one. I want to hear from you guys on how you feel about any of the palace pieces. Do you like any of the pieces that I mentioned in my top five? Uh, what is your top five? Let me know down in that comment section below. But that is it for me guys. Uh, that is my top five favorite pieces that released in Palace's winter 2021 collection. There were some solid pieces this season. I think there was a bit there for everyone. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be more fans of the puffers and um, I guess hiking wear, mountaineering wear, 
outdoor uh, outdoor wear yeah whatever you define all those jackets as whatever the umbrella term is for that <laughs> um for me that's not my aesthetic though so i'm not drawn to them at all but uh, i know a lot of you guys are big fans of those and each to their own and i do really want to hear how you feel about the winter 2021 season as a whole and what your top five favorite pieces are from the season in that comment section below if you guys want me to keep doing further palace videos don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel we're also trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,180 subscribers. Uh, hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's all I got to say about the uh, winter 2021 season, guys. It was a good season. I had a lot of fun uh, covering it for you guys. And I'll definitely look forward to covering the Ultimo 2021 season when that starts dropping. Uh, as soon as we get a lookbook and everything like that, I'll start covering that on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, until the next Palace video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Top 5 video, guys, I'll catch you later.